The FCV501 bypass valve is a pneumatic piston actuated valve that adjusts the vacuum to its set point during operation in order to maintain a steady negative pressure in the system and also to provide sufficient airflow to the ring pump. Over time, the actuating piston accumulates tar on its body, causing the valve to jam open or closed and affect the system's operation. To clean the FCV501 bypass valve, ensure mags is off. Press the HMI maintenance tab. If the pneumatic system is on, select press to put pneumatic system auto to turn the pneumatic system off. Using a ladder, remove panel T5. Disconnect the push to connect airline from valve FCV501. Follow the ASI power cable from the valve and unscrew it from the connector. Remove the actuator as a whole from the valve housing using an adjustable wrench. Do not use a pipe wrench or open the actuator housing. Clean the piston of the actuator and the valve housing with a cleaning agent to remove any tar and buildup. While the actuator is removed, connect the power cable of the valve and the airline to the valve. Turn on the compressed air by pressing Maintenance, Press to Start Pneumatic System. On the HMI Devices Instruments tab, manually set FCV501 to the 100% position and ensure the piston is fully extended. Then manually set FCV501 to the 0% position and ensure the piston is fully closed. Make sure the piston is able to complete the full range of motion. Once completed, remove the manual override from FCV501. Turn the compressed air system off by pressing Maintenance, press to put pneumatic system auto. Disconnect the airline from the push to connect fitting built in the valve. Disconnect the ASI power cable from the system. Reinstall the actuator into the housing. Ensure the graphite gasket is in place. Connect the airline to the valve. Connect the ASI power cable. Verify the lights on the valve head are on. With the valve fully assembled and connected, unscrew the clear plastic cover of the valve head. Hold and press the X tune button for 5 to 8 seconds. LED 1 quickly flashes green. When the automatic adjustment is successfully complete, LED 1 slowly flashes green. When the X-Tune does not complete correctly, an orange light will trigger. Press and hold the X-Tune button a second time. If the X-Tune calibration does not complete successfully, contact Tarragon Support.